Excuses, excuses, excuses. Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Welcome one, welcome all. Okay, here come the train of excuses. Well, you wonder, was this all the rules just to be back on the show? Or was this the truth? Okay. Now, it appears as if Shane and Lacey are back together. Okay. And if you were to listen to them, this was all a dream that we all had. We all fell under the spell of this rumor. This rumor. Okay. So, in the meantime, John Post, I mean, I'm sorry, Shane, he post, always enjoy the little things in life. And uh, he's so happy, blah, blah, and blah. Okay. And um, let me make sure I get everything of what the nonsense is of all this. But I'm going to, I'm going to open this little case wide open. And call it what it is, a big ass lie. So, um, because we all know the truth. We all know Lacey went with John. We all saw that Instagram lie. Don't try to change the narrative here. We saw this is not a rumor when you see it with your own eyes. Okay? Okay? Call it something else, but don't call it a rumor. So, anyway, um, Let me get here. Okay, let's get started. Let's get on here and we're going to do handle this real quick in a hurry, okay? So, someone posted to Shane. Isn't this dude in jail for killing a dog? Here's Shane talking about, no, that's a, a rumor, dude. I don't know where the F that came from. And then Lacey jumps in and she says, no. Okay, all right, we saw the documents. We saw the documents, unless those documents were kind of, you know, fabricated themselves, okay? So, but he's not telling a lie right there because it was not a dog, it was a cat that got injured, okay, people? Understand my words, do not get them twisted. Okay, not even on Reddit, don't get it twisted. I said cat. I was animal lover. Cat, dog. I'm an animal lover, okay? I feel bad for the cat. The cat did not die, okay? You guys saw that one word, death, but you forgot to look at the little slash. It said I-N-G. It stands for injury, okay? Reading comprehension is fundamental. I know sometimes the eyes get a little tired. All right, but double check if you're going to check somebody. So anyway, he was going on. He says, so he's telling the truth right there. It was not a dog. So uh, someone else came back who had, you know, they said, can you explain what happened with the cat? And instead of hearing all the rumors, yes, let's, let's just hear the truth from the horse's mouth. Okay, here comes Shane. He said the cat hurt itself somehow and it was taken to the vet. And now animal control is making assumption is all. I have a lawyer, so yeah, that's all. This whole thing has just been blown out of proportion and will be settled. And someone says not being rude, but how did it somehow hurt itself? And someone chimes in, you know, it says, dog hurt, it's my dog hurt itself by crawling under a car and getting burnt on the Cadillac convertible. So yes, it is possible. All right, let's, Examine Shane's response. The cat hurt itself, taken to the vet, and somehow animal control is making an assumption is all. So you're saying the vet called uh, the police on this? I think the cousin was right. The cousin said it was a cat. The cousin said. It was an accident. It was not the vet calling the cops on you, Shane. Why did the vet call the cops on Lacey? 
You guys are both the owners of the cat. You're both of the parents of the cat. So why was the cops just called on you, Shane? Why? Lacey is also the parent of the cat. Did Lacey make you take the fall for the cat? No, what I think is Lacey took advantage and called. The vet is going to tend to the cat. There are a lot of accidents that happen to animals. And a concerned person is going to take their fur baby to the vet. Okay, so if Shane is taking the pet to the vet, or even if it's Lacey, the vet has no reason to call the cops. Okay? The vet is like, you know, take your money and try to work and heal the cat. Because if you're harming the cat, you're not going to be concerned enough to take it to the vet. So, I think Lacey called the cops on you, just like your cousin said so, Shane, okay? Okay? I do not, I think what happened was an accident. You guys took him to the vet. And Lacey took it, you know, a step further. Because she wanted to get her groove on with John. Because we saw the Instagram live. We all saw that. We all saw that tongue kissing and all that. We saw it. So now you back holding up a uh, little thing about, you know, showing your little wedding ring, holding this uh, Sunday in the kitchen. Okay. All right. You take Lacey back, but don't lie to us. Lie to yourself. Okay. Tracy Trendy ain't falling for it. All right. I think you need to stay with Lacey just for the kid's sake. That's all. That's all. I don't believe you hurt the cat, harmed it intentionally. I don't believe that. I believe the cousins, you know, she just wanted a little alibi to get to John. She just had to get her groove on with John. I believe you guys probably had a, a separation of some sort or whatever. I believe 100% what your cousin said. And you weakened, you took Lacey back. And you got to show, you know, you, this is not the first time you did take Lacey back after she went with John. So, you know. But Lacey's trying to make herself look good by saying, painting you or throwing you under the bus. And of course, Lacey's paying for this attorney. Just like she paid for John's attorneys. And, you know, she could also say, hey, take me back. You know, we're going to be back on the show. This is bringing income. I don't know what kind of voodoo Lacey put down. Yeah, maybe some voodoo in the bedroom. But what else could be enough voodoo to keep you in prison, get you back in prison? That's that's crazy. But if you're going to, you know, you're going to push this excuse, there's going to be gullible people to believe it. But my lovelies, don't believe that. Don't believe it. It's just Lacey. She just doing her usual tricks. Aunt Lacey, I done told you, you know what? You need to talk to We Sharp Entertainment and tell them, give you some more money. You can find, you will be a good casting agent. You will be a great casting agent. You bought us Deontay, okay? And you bought us Nico. Uh -uh. But anyway, um, you have a lot to offer to the network as well as to Sharp Entertainment, Lacey. Work a different angle. Don't put your marriage in jeopardy. And as I said, if you wanted to get your thing on with John, then you need to renegotiate, renegotiate your marriage. Okay? Renegotiate it. But don't be playing us for fools. Because mm -mm. I'm going to sniff through that. I'm going to sniff through it. All right? That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. I think Shane's a good guy. And, and Lacey knew she's going to have to come hard at him. Otherwise, the fans going to turn on her for being what she, you know, the leopard that she is, the alley cat that she is. She does not change her spot. That alley cat will go back in the alley and prowl. All right. That's what she does. But she doesn't want to look too bad now. So she's got to throw Shane under the bus. And Shane's going to take it. Shane's going to take it. Maybe one day he won't, but he's going to keep taking it. All right, my lovelies. What do you think about all this? What do you think? Drop me a line, okay? 
as you know, you got to hit the subscription button and the notification bell. Share your thoughts. Share the video if you care. And I will see you all on the flip side. Okay, my lovelies. Toodles.